vinyl chloride, once again, poly is just that first part. You can get the monomer name from that second part. So vinyl chloride is PVC. So vinyl chloride is the common name. What it actually is, is it's chloroethane. Okay, so chloroethane is the monomer, but the more correctly, polyethene is a monomer. Sorry, chloroethene is a monomer because that's the thing that adds up to make your chloroethane. Okay, so this thing here, the double bond's going to break and then the carbon's going to add to each of the carbons and you're going to get something like this. You'll notice that the chlorine's going to alternate. Okay, so it's going to be something like this. This is where your double bond originally used to be. The double bond's going to break. Then we're there. And then you're just going to add the next C and the next something like that. Okay, so the, the chlorine is going to alternate for your polyvinyl chloride. Now, first things first, based on what you see here, what can you already tell me about the difference between polyethylene and polyvinyl chloride? The first one was nonpolar because it was just a bunch of carbon and hydrogens, what can you tell me about polyvinyl chloride and, and, and chloroethene? Chlorine is electronegative. It can form dipole dipole forces because it's polar, yeah? Now, based off of that, what can you sort of already tell me about the difference between what PE is used for and what PVC is used for? So PVC is uh, rigid. It doesn't have any color, but we don't have to talk about that one. And it's not that stable in heat and light, which means it breaks down kind of easily. You can add stabilizers to improve its stability in heat and light and things like that. It's lightweight, but it's sturdy and it's abrasion resistant. So it's lightweight simply because the molecules aren't that big. You're going to see something later on that's going to be a way bigger monomer and way bigger polymer. So this one is relatively lightweight is what we mean. Even though you think chlorine's more uh, chlorine is more heavy than like carbon and stuff because it's 35.45 grams per mole but compared to the other monomers you're going to see soon it's pretty it's pretty lightweight so it's good for insulation it's durable it has a long life and you can also add plasticizers to this as well to make it more flexible otherwise it's really rigid so because it's really rigid, it can be used for heavier duty stuff. So first we thought your plastic chairs from school were heavy duty, but it can get more than that. You can use PVC, unplasticized PVC, by the way, because your plasticizers are going to make it spread out and more flexible. You can use it for flooring, window frames, sewage pipes, and things like that. And also if you need something in a sterile environment, so for hospitals, schools, and homes in particular. But if you're using like uh, plasticized PVC, which means you put those little bubbles in, like we talked about in the last one, to, to spread out the branches a little bit, it's going to become less dense and therefore more flexible. Then you can use plasticized PVC for softer things like aprons, shower curtains, raincoats, jackets, and things like that. 